Alright, hi everybody. We are going to try to take this hand-drawn airplane and turn it into a file that we can cut out kind of like a puzzle piece. So I want each of these things here to be cut out and then we'll be able to push them back together. But what you'll notice is that after I've, I've hand-drawn this, or I didn't, somebody hand-drew this in Procreate, then took that image brought it into Inkscape and now when you try to cut it you've got all of these extra lines. There's an extra line here, an extra line here and we don't want these extra lines. Essentially there's a wireframe. Here's your wireframe around every piece and we don't want that. When you're done these pieces will not fit together. There'll be a gap. A gap for the wireframe. So what do we need to do? First thing we're going to do, we're going to break all of this apart. So path, break apart. We have all these pieces. Now the clouds are the easiest. These internal wires, the internal lines, we're just going to delete them. So select, delete, select, delete. These, these were easy. Now I just have one line. They'll cut out. You're okay. The airplane is where it gets difficult. Because when I delete the wireframe, I still have the gap. So the exterior part is our wireframe. I'm going to click on that, delete it, and now I've got a gap between every little piece here. And I don't want that. Now, I can always move everything over, but then I'll still have a double cut. When, this com when, when I'm cutting out this line here, it's going to hit, it's going to cut around it, and it's going to keep going. But then when it's time to cut this wing, it's also going to cut that same line again, and I don't want that to happen. So we need to delete some of these lines as well, too. And since it's all one piece, how do you delete just the line? And that's where it gets kind of a little bit complicated. So we're going to start off on the left side of the plane. We're going to work our way to the right. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, let's start off with this piece of the propeller. Now, I'm going to make sure that I'm enabled snapping. So over here in the top right-hand corner, click this little arrow. If this is unchecked, make sure you check it. It needs to be checked. Click back off. Also, the version of Inkscape that I'm using right now, I'll say this in every, every one of these videos, it's Inkscape 1.2. I believe this is the newest version of Inkscape that there is. If you have an older version, that's okay. It's going to look slightly different, but it feels the same. You're still going to go to the top right corner, still click this arrow, still make sure Enable Snapping is selected. All of the, the locations for everything is the same. It just might look a little bit different. Now that you've had snapping, what this will do, I can take this little piece here and I can, I'm going to hold down the Control key and as I hold down control, that means that the y-axis does not change as I move it left and right. It's just going to go left and right. And I'm going to keep going until I go right up against this airplane piece here. Right there. Okay? Snapping. What snapping does is, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and I'll show you what I mean. You have, I'm going to select the nodes tool. That's this guy right here. I'm going to click on here. This node, or any node, when snapping is on, will try to connect to this line. If you notice how there's a line right there as I go through it, and this node is now attached or touching this line, and it's stuck right to it. This node right here. I need this node to do the same thing, so I'm going to grab it, move it over, there, it just snapped. Just clicked right where it needs to go. That's what I want. Now, I still have that double line cut. As this line hits here, my my laser that I'm going to use to cut this is going to still it's going to go all the way around and then come back up. And then when it, when it cuts this one, it's going to do the same thing and cut that same line. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is everything in between. So this line right here, this node, all this stuff here, everything between, I want that gone. I don't, I don't care about this stuff right here. And, and it looks strange now. We don't really care. Because I'm going to delete 
everything between this node and this node right here. So all I have for this first cut is going to be this outline. The way you do that is I'm going to select this node. I'm going to hold down the shift key and select this node. I've got both nodes selected now. Up here it says break path at selected nodes. I'm going to click that. Both of these are now have uh, they're blue. You see the little blue dot there? That path is broken. I'm going to choose the select tool path break apart. Now I have two pieces. I have this piece here to that node, then I have this piece for that node. I don't want this one. So I'm going to deselect by holding down the shift and touching this one right here and clicking on this. Deselect this one and just hit the delete key. Now that one's gone and I know that when this thing cuts it's going to start at this node, go all the way through, end at this node, and this node is on that line. So when it cuts through this line it's going to go right to those spots. I'm going to zoom out. Let's get one of these propellers. Let's take this guy. Alright. Again, enable snapping. We're going to move this to where it's touching here. That's a good spot. I like it. Let's look at the nodes. This is the node that's touching. I don't like that. I want this node to be the one touching. Drag it down. There we go. Now it's on that line. It's dead on. I don't care about this node because it's after that one. So nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. This stuff here, I need this one right here. There's another line right here. This is where they intersect. I'm going to put a node right here. And so I just double click. When you double click, it creates a node. I'm going to take that node. I'm going to drag it. Yep, it's, it's right on that line now. And I can go up and down it. And I want to make it about straight. There we go. So now everything between that node and this node, I want to delete. So this one is already selected. Hold down shift and select this one. Break apart at the nodes with this little button right here. Go to the select tool. Hit path. Break apart. I now have two pieces. I want to keep this piece, so hold down shift, click it. This is the only one that's selected now. Hit the delete key, and now I'm done. There it is. Let's get the other propeller. Now this one's, again, remember this was hand drawn, right? So when I try to move this one, and I want to put it up there with where these are at, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be like, this is probably where I would normally put it. But if you see, it's not really lined up correctly. This one's kind of farther back. This one's kind of closer up. I want to make them pretty close to the same. So I'm going to take this guy. We'll move it to right around. That's a good spot. This is this is pretty close right here. Then we want this node. You know what? It's actually probably easier if I do it this way. Let's move it like this. And then I'll just move the nodes over. So let's select this node here. Let's get this guy to come out. Let's move this one like that's. Nah. We'll look at it here in just a second. I want to I'm gonna create another node right around here. Double click, let's attach it to this. I don't care about any of these because it's between the two that I'm going to delete. All of these don't matter. These all don't matter. I'm not even holding the right thing. There we go. This is right where it needs to be. Let me zoom out. It's not horrible. Okay, so I'm gonna come back for the purposes of this video. I'll, I'll clean it up here in a little bit, but for the purpose of this video, just show you what we can do here. Let me zoom back out just a hair. Hair too much. All right. So I want. I got this node selected now. I'm gonna hold down Shift and get this node selected. I'm going to break them apart, go to select, path, break apart, hold down shift, I want to keep that one, I want to delete the other one, delete. There we go. Now I've got that propeller there too. So when I look at the front here, there's my propeller. They're attached, they're where it needs to be, we're good to go. Now these stuff, all I moved all of these up against this. But for the next one, from here on out, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to move the pieces. 
we're just I mean these lines are close enough together that we're just gonna use one of those lines and get rid of the other one so let's zoom in here let's say I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this outer line right here okay so what I'm gonna do go to the nodes tool I'll select this one grab here move it up to that one grab the bottom one move it to that bottom one this one is still selected hold down shift get this one let's break it apart so we're going to click right here select path break apart deselect the piece that we want to keep hit the delete key and there we go all right now let's go ahead and keep this bottom one we'll get rid of this top one right here we're going to do it again so let's move up to the windshield do the same thing grab a nodes come to this node drag this to here drag this one to here I'm gonna select both of them so I hold down shift select the next one I'm gonna hit this right here to break the part break the path that selected nodes select tool path break apart I have two pieces right we're gonna keep this guy right here so I'm gonna deselect that one I'm gonna hit the delete key and there goes that inner line now I've got a windshield zoom out let's come over here to the wing we're gonna get rid of this outer line right here we're gonna keep the actual wing so nodes grab this one let's try to keep it kinda in level there that looks good it's on the line come over here do the same thing with this one that looks like it's pretty good right there now while that one's still selected hold down shift click on this one we're gonna break them apart select path break apart we're gonna deselect the part that we want to keep which is this big one area right here we're gonna hit the delete key there we go one more piece that's the tail fin right there grab our nodes move this one up let's drag it down to where we want it to be okay so if it's doing that I don't like where it's at but it's always snapping to that spot zoom in more you can drag it down now and it'll stay on that line alright so that's not bad zoom back out a little bit let's do this one the same way it's good right about where it's at hold down the shift key click on this node break apart select tool path break apart deselect the one we want to keep hit the delete key and I deleted too much look it went away so this part didn't break off so we're control Z we're gonna undo what we did let's grab our nodes again actually you know what I think there's two pieces there's a piece here and a piece here we need to just click this piece right here and hit the delete key there we go all right so we are done this plane is zoomed in too far this plane right here is finished now I'm gonna show you something here so this wing this tail fin right here this is one piece if you pull it aside you can see the break that's where the cut is going to stop on the outer one on the on the airplane portion on the body the cut will stop it won't try to go anywhere else i'm gonna hit Control z to put that tail fin back where i want it to be okay same with this thing right here it's a whole separate piece Control z to put it back the problem that you're going to have here whole separate piece let's put it back if you select this i have all these pieces selected now and I want to union these together it will not look good let's go to union we added extra lines from here to here we deleted lines that were here to here we no longer have a puzzle piece this is not what you want to do control Z leave it as it is leave it like it is right now yes you have separate pieces I can grab this piece and I can move it over here yes you have separate pieces right that's okay because when it cuts through on your laser it's still going to cut it in separate pieces anyway no matter what you do it will always cut in separate pieces might as well leave it that way it's okay 
All right, so now we took that. We got rid of our double lines. Now we just have a single line, and we're good to go. And you can clean it up if you want to. Get rid of some of those little... I mean, this was, again, this is hand-drawn. So there's a little wave, like, right here, right? There's a little bit of a, of a bump right there. If you want to clean some things up, you can. Just mess with the nodes, and you're good to go. But to delete the walls, delete those second lines, that's what you need to do. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much.